You're talking a little bit about how there are a number of different organizations involved and they have interlacing responsibilities and visions and things. I understand you're working for Lauderdale. Um, I was looking at the white paper that came out of that, and mm -hmm. there was a lot of discussion about how there's a, a new vision for having various organizations that are taking care of different aspects. So how does this organization fit into that? And the a, a Performing Arts Center is both a place, as you were talking about, with respect to a city. It provides a geographic focus for a city. It's a collection of buildings when you think about the, the functionality and what goes on. And it's also um, the, the, the performing arts center of the 21st century is in some ways, without sounding too, too esoteric, almost like an organizing principle or a system. If you think of it just as a place that people rent to do shows, you're missing a lot of the benefits. It'd be like saying a mall is nothing more than a big building that stores rent to have their their retail in. Would a would a the successful malls have become destinations in their own right? They also provide the infrastructure in terms of efficiency of parking, general advertising, visibility in the community, added events to draw attention to the retail that makes the retail more successful because it's in a mall. It's not just about the square footage at North Park that Nordstrom's or Neiman's is renting. You know, you take that same square footage and you put it a mile down the road and it's not the same thing. Well, what makes it different? It's the fact that it's in the mall and it's the fact all those things that the mall brings to the party. And in, the, in a similar way, a performing arts center is like that. The, the systems that we bring that create efficiencies, whether it's having broad-based advertising that, that brings more attention to all the arts groups that are performing at the center, um, whether it's a common ticketing system that, that both lowers cost for those organizations, but also gives us the means to provide better data analysis back to those organizations. Um, whether it's um, the fact that we have consistent consumer interface. If you go to the opera, if you go to the Dallas Black Dance Theater, if you go to a Titus show, it's going to be easier for you to make that buying decision because I know where to park. I don't have to think about where to park every time. I know, you know it's going to be the same ushers. It's going to be the same ticketing. It's going to be the same website to buy your tickets. So. We've made it easier for the customer to focus on the art. I mean, sometimes people think of performing arts centers as you're going to overshadow the art, and it's quite the opposite. It's, you know, I go to North Park or a mall because I know where to park, and I can, if I want to go to Radio Shack, if I want to go to AMC Movies, if I want to go to Neiman's, it's all the same thing. I can focus on the store because I don't have to worry about how to get there, what the hours are, where do I park. You know, if I want to eat, is there a restaurant nearby? No, it's all taken care of every single time the same way. Performing arts centers are much the same. That we provide, we get rid of all those things so that the arts organizations can focus on producing the best art possible instead of being distracted both in terms of their time and their money by having to provide these other things that aren't really essential to the art that goes on stage.